Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I have another review video for you and I'm going to be reviewing Cub Finance or CubDefi.com. I did a review of a similar type project on ApeSwap a little while ago, about a week ago. And uh, this is another similar type project with some very key differences. If you're not familiar with the DeFi um, project, there's a lot of different DeFi projects going on. It's part of the Binance smart chain. And these swaps are coming up. Uniswap and PancakeSwap are um, kind of the super popular ones out there. And there's a lot, a lot of other projects that are being developed and coming out to the marketplace. And so how do you know which one to choose? You know, you can choose a lot of them, just throw your eggs in a lot of baskets if you want, like I've been doing. Mm. I am part of four of them right now, but uh, they're not all equal. And you really need to do your research behind them before investing your money into them, I think. And uh, that's kind of a given, right? With crypto, anything crypto related, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So I first heard about Cub through a friend on Twitter, um, someone that I trust, and he's always given good advice on Twitter. And so I just went in and it was very familiar. The user face interface was very familiar to me already. And so I went and bought some Cub and started staking. And I will give you a little tour of that in a, in a bit. And I didn't even know that Cub Finance was actually built um, part of or under the umbrella of Leo Finance. And for those of you who don't know, Leo Finance is a platform where you can earn crypto, Leo, on posting. Now, you can't just post about anything over there. You post about finance and crypto related things. So if we come over here to Leo Finance and here we are over on the uh, kind of the interface. And if you have been a part of the Hive community or like Steam it, this is a similar community where you post and people upvote your posts, like your posts, and they can uh, assign a certain amount of Leo power to that post. And then you generate some money that way. If we look at these posts like this one, by Edicted is uh, right now at $97.14, the value. And it tells you the payout right there, when it will occur, and the breakdown of the payout. And so depending on how much Leo power you have will depend on how, um, how much your vote is worth and how much you'll give to that person, that, that blog or whatever they posted about. And then, you know, so the curator gets a portion of the reward as well as the person that made the post, the author of the post. So if you are familiar with Steemit, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're familiar with Hive, um, like Steam, uh, Steam Peak or Peak, Peak D, um, you'll be very familiar or any of those similar type um, platforms, whale shares. There's a bunch of them out there, but there's only a few that are really worth <laughs> a grain of salt. <laughs> And this is definitely one of them, Leo Finance. And they've been around for a while, like two years, and I had no idea. I guess I wasn't paying attention in Steemit or over on Steam. Like, I've been in Steemit for about three years. And when this happened, I guess I wasn't paying attention because I didn't know about Leo Finance until just recently, a couple weeks ago or a week ago. And I didn't even know that they were behind Cub until I bought Cub. So I bought Cub first. And uh, so it's so far, I've enjoyed the community. I've only done a few posts over there. So if you're looking to learn more about the landscape, not just Leo Finance, um, not just Cub, but there's posts all about different types of crypto and finance and advice and that sort of thing. So check out Leo Finance. But this is not necessarily a review about uh, Leo Finance. It kind of is a little bit, but it's more, more so about Cub. And so if we come over here to Cub Finance, which is cubdefi.com and you're greeted here with this the interface and you can switch between day and night mode if you want depending on how you like the look of it both looks are great i'm more used to the white look and so generally i just have it on the white but when it's 
you know, nighttime and you don't want your monitor to be super bright, <laughs> you can just turn on the night mode, which is really cool. And so how do you use it? Well, you need to have um, some kind of a wallet that is on the, the Binance Smart Chain wallet. And there's several of them out here. So if you come up here to the right hand corner and hit connect, all these different um, wallets you can choose from. I have a MetaMask wallet and a Bi Binance Chain wallet, but I always use my MetaMask wallet for the most part. And so you can just click on that. And if you don't have a MetaMask wallet set up, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that right now, but there's other tutorial tutorials out there on how you can set up your MetaMask wallet so it will work with these different um, swaps. And so now that you're connected and you can come over here to the trading platform and you can exchange. You can exchange tokens for other tokens. All right, so right now I can, I, I just have a little bit of BNB on there right now. I'm kind of spread out my BNB here on Cub and other places. And so what you can do is once you're connected, it's gonna to link to your BNB balance on your MetaMask wallet or Trust Wallet or whatever wallet. And then you can come down here and select one of the currencies, so many that you can choose from. So if I wanted to stake the Cub, then I would buy Cub right here. And you know, if I wanted to buy some right now, you know, I could do 0.1 BNB and buy 7.7 Cub. I'm not gonna buy any right now, but you just hit swap and you pay a minimal fee. It's anywhere from like 40 to 50 cents. The gas fees are super low, which is common for Binance Smart Chain related projects. So that's really cool. And then once you pay that, then you can just come over here to the den and you can just start staking. And in order to stake, you need to approve the contract, which costs a small amount of fee. And then you can just start staking and then to stake it, it costs a little bit of a gas fee. So there's a little bit of a um, startup costs, but really it's not very much. It's like $1.50 to get up and running. And you just start staking and right now it's 450 55% right now, that is insane. You won't get that in anywhere else like on like a normal finance. I mean, maybe you might get 16, 15% somewhere, um, but like your bank account, you're gonna get 0.015% or something like that. Um, now I will say that it's not gonna stay at 455 forever, depending on how many you hold, will determine, determine how much you can stake and early adopters are gonna have a higher percentage. As more and more adopters come in and the project gets older, that percentage is gonna go down like we saw with PancakeSwap. But even with PancakeSwap, PancakeSwap's been around for quite a while, it's still like just a normal staking pool is like 134%, which is still amazing. So take advantage right now of the high percentage uh, while it lasts. Uh, and you can just come over here and stake some cub. And right now the price is 330. It's been fluctuating um, between 330 and up as high as like six, seven dollars around there. And another thing that you can do if you want even higher returns, which is very common with other swaps, is you can come to the farm and you can do the LP token um, farming. That gives you a higher return, but there's more risk. And if you're not familiar with an LP, it's liquidity is what you're doing is you're matching a equal value of cub with an equal value of a certain coin. For example, you can do an equal value of cub and you pair it with an equal value of Binance or BNB coin. And together you pair that and that creates a liquidity um, token, a liquidity, liquidity, liquidity pool token. And then you can come over here and you can approve the contract and you can stake those and you get a higher return. But there's a higher risk as well something called impermanent loss, where if the, the tokens go drastically down in value, um, and you could wind up losing that money. Um, so normal staking in the den, there's no chance of impermanent loss. You just stake your coins and there you go. But you can get high rewards, sometimes three or four times as much through liquidity. And if you, um, if you wanna go that route, you can. And some people love going that route 
And in a stable market, you'll, you'll make out like a bandit. I mean, you totally will. It has to fluctuate a ton for that impermanent loss to really take an effect, but it could happen. So just keep that in mind. So you can stake here, and there's a lot of different um, LP token pairings that you can do. And so you can see those there. And you don't have to just do Cub like right now. You can do Ethereum. You can pair Ethereum with um, Binance. And you can get 483% rewards that way. But there's a deposit fee that you have to be aware of, 4% deposit fee. And so not all of them have a deposit fee. I haven't done those where I re required a deposit fee. I've only done the BNB Cub or I did a BNB Banana, which is over at ApeSwap. Um, and uh, so, and if you look up here, the, it talks about what the deposit fee is used for. It'll be used for to buy back the Cub and the Dev or the B Leo. And how would you do the liquidity if you want? Well, up here in the trade. You'll come up to liquidity and you can add your liquidity here. And how would you do that? You just click add your um, liquidity and then you put BNB here and then you're gonna match it with the currency. Like if I had Cub in my wallet, it would show up here. And then if I typed in one, let's say I typed in 0 0.01 BNB um, and I wanted to do Cub, Whoops. It would tell me if I did, or let's just max it just to make it easy. Um, it'll tell me how much cub I need to pair with it. I would need 12 or 17 cub in my wallet to be able to pair with that 0.22 BNB. And then if you had that, you would approve it and you would create your token and then it would show up here. It would also show up in your MetaMask wallet or Trust Wallet, whatever wallet that you're using. And then you can come back over to the farm or over to the farm here, you could approve the contract and then start staking that LP. And then you can remove that anytime you want the liquidity. You can remove it and then get back your um, staked or get back your cub and your BNB that you had put in there. Okay. Um, but again, there's impermanent loss that could happen. So it's a little bit more risky, but the rewards are greater, uh, which with greater risk comes greater reward. And that's totally the crypto market for you. But anyway, it's an awesome, awesome, really super easy interface to use, very similar to other ones that are out there. But what I like about this one is it's backed by Leo Finance. Even when you come here at the, the, the interface, it has a lot of the announcements and tweets hooked up to Twitter, and it has a lot of the stuff going on right here um, about Cub and Leo Finance. Not to mention there's a whole ecosystem, a whole community of people here on Leo Finance that want Cub to succeed. And they've been around for a couple years, so it's really, really awesome. And so there's a couple ways you can earn. You can come over to Leo Finance and you can post about cryptocurrency and about um, finance in general and if people like your post like what they read they will upvote you and you can earn some money that way and then you can also buy some cub and earn, start staking those sweet juicy rewards and earn that way so my question is is cub DeFi going to be the new king of the DeFi jungle we shall see i'm matt taylor this has been another cryptocurrency review episode for you uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Until next time, happy investing, everyone. Take care.